pregame.com. Let's wrap it up with this classic here at pregame.tv. Monday Night Football, the matchup between the Panthers and the Eagles from Philadelphia. And I'm sure those fans are ready to give the home team a warm welcome and they run onto the field. But, you know, Marco, this brings up the point. I wonder how many people would actually be watching Monday Night Football this week if it weren't for the spread. <laughs> Seriously, I mean, you got this Carolina team who, you know, they had one player state that they were going to win the West of the NFC before the <laughs> season began. You had Philadelphia, who two years in a row has been called a Super Bowl contender or maybe even favorite favorite by much of the media going into each of the last two seasons. What do they have, five wins between two of them right now heading into week 12? I think actually Philadelphia was referred to as a dream team last year. Yes, they were. <laughs> yep. You know, it turned into a nightmare, yeah. let, me, let, let me tell you. <laughs> you know, this is a game that we got to handicap because it, it's there. And the good news is for these two teams, somebody's going to get a win. <laughs> somebody's well, going to be <laughs> – Somebody's going to be happy. Everybody's going to look at Carolina and they're going to point out six of their eight losses have been by six points or less mm -hmm. well you know what that's, that's true, true. <laughs> <laughs> you know? but they're still that's the thing they find ways to lose late mm -hmm. and they did it again last week in you know Carolina they miracle had, loss by the way yeah. holy cow I mean everything had to you know touchdown two-point conversion get it into overtime it, whatever could happen went wrong in that one Philadelphia, they do it the old-fashioned way. They just stink from the beginning of the game. <laughs> <laughs> and it gets worse as the game goes on. Uh, I'm going to look at this. There's two teams that are out of it. We talked about it in, a, in another video earlier. What do they have to play for? This might turn into just a, you know, one of those backyard-type games because you know, you've got quarterback issues in Philadelphia. You, you've got defensive issues in Carolina. Well, yeah, I mean, <laughs> Nick Foles goes 21 for 46, but you can't really blame the guy because he's either getting hit as he throws the ball, getting hit before he throws the ball, or he's laying up looking to the stars wondering if the pass was caught. I mean, he was under constant pressure, and you want to talk about snot flying. It was all Nick Foles <laughs> last week. Uh, the guy got sacked four times. He's playing behind an offensive line that has given up 33 sacks on the season, and let's not forget they had Michael Vick for most of those games who could escape some of those sacks, or we might be talking historic sack numbers like the Arizona Cardinals have. Philadelphia giving up the third most going into week 12. Now he doesn't have LaShawn McCoy talking about uh, Nick Foles to hand the ball off to. And there's a lot of upset people in Philly right now at Andy Reid, not just for what the record is, but the fact that down 31-6, to he's got LaShawn McCoy running the football in the closing minutes of the game. He, get, he suffers the concussion, not likely to play on Monday night, Brian. Yeah, it's a situation with the, uh, with the Eagles. You, you don't, don't have your running back, but you have a quarterback who doesn't have a lot of experience. So what are you going to do offensively? Uh, the Eagle defense, you hit it right on, right on the nose right there with yards per play averages the last four games 12.8 7.4 8.6 8.5 they make an offense healthy in no time and mm -hmm. you know you take a look at Carolina they played four road games this year against at Tampa Bay at Atlanta at Chicago at Washington they've actually only been outscored in those games by one total point so this Carolina team I know you talked about the six out of eight you know the six points or whatever but this Carolina team really is a better team away from home and you take a look at the teams they play this is a major step down here mm -hmm. Yeah, I was going to say, right now, if you just said which is the better football team, I think it's the Carolina Panthers are the better football team. Do I want to put my money on them? Well, I haven't decided yet, and here we are already midway through the week heading into Monday Night Football. Marco, this is your free pick. I'm not sure how either one of these teams moves the ball on the ground other than maybe Cam Newton once in a while. Well, this is my free pick. I'm going to look at this game. Two teams that have nothing to play for. Their seasons are over. They're on Monday night football. I think they're just going to go out and have a good time. Andy Reid, you know, it'll be sad. You know, he's had such a great history in Philadelphia, but he's lost this team. The, the team's gone, and everything he's gone through this year, I just don't see any life in this team. I look for both teams to score points. You look at Philadelphia, they've given up 26 points or more in five straight games. You look at Carolina, they have given up 30 or more points in half of their games, five out of 10 games. We're going to take the over, just sit back, hope they don't make you know, too many mistakes, but you can get some defensive scores too with the young you know, quarterback if he throws into coverage and pick six. I just think it's going to be a lot of points. I think they've over-adjusted this total because of the quarterback situation. You kind of saw that last Monday night when they over-adjusted because of the, the injuries and the game went over the total. I think you see that again this week. Take the over on Monday Night Football. The over from Marco, his free pick, Monday Night Football, Carolina and Philadelphia. Hope you had a terrific winning Thanksgiving weekend. I know we sure had a great weekend as this guy 
ate a lot of food. But anyway, uh, the bottom line is, is don't forget to come back Tuesday night when the videos start to flow out from Chris, Chuck, and Vegas Runner. For Brian Leonard, for Marco D'Angelo, I'm Scott Spritzer. We'll see you next week right here at pregame.tv.